look, this is a nice night right here. I got Ponky Doo. I just got back from an aerobics class. I'm sitting in front of my heater. Got my little shoes on. My little Aldi booties. And I got Ponky Doo. Ponky. What was that? I got Evie over there. <laughs> Evie, are you mad? She wants me to shut up. Ponky Doo. Ponky Doo. No, I, I sat down and then she immediately came over and wanted to get in my lap. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. The kitten's actually outside antagonizing one of the neighbor's cats. I, I pulled up from going to my class and she was out in the middle of the street yelling at one of the neighbor's cats like, you know, you're kind of a jerk. And then I pull up and she gets all bold like she's going to do something. And I'm going, cat, I am not backing you up. If you want to fight with the neighbor's cat, I am not getting involved in that. Thing is, you know, the kitten is kind of small. She's not a big cat. But one of the neighbors has the, the, the cutest little, it's a little gray striped cat and it has white feet, like little white socks on its feet. It's very cute. It's a very dainty little cat. And uh, she, it's smaller than the kitten and the kitten's out there screaming at her. Olive, Boot, whoever. She she likes to bully other animals in the neighborhood. Except one of my neighbors has this giant German Shepherd. She's terrified of that dog. His name's Terry, the German Shepherd. Pumpkin. Pumpkin? She's digging a claw into my leg. I don't know why. I think she wants me to shut up. Cat. I gotta get up, cat. I'm sweaty, and I didn't mean I didn't mean to end up sitting down here. I'm sweaty, and I got a heater on because I'm not I'm not as smart as I look. <laughs> I tell you, I I ugh. I need a shower. <laughs> I got laundry back there. I gotta put up. I was moving around too much. She got mad at me and got up. When she sits in your lap, you have to be very still or she won't like it. She will get mad and just leave. She'll just get up. She's very picky about her laps. I've been, I've been just kind of in the dumps all day. I've just been kind of blue all day because I keep thinking about the thing I screwed up at work yesterday. I got up this morning. It was the first thing I thought of was I've got to fix, I've got to fix this thing. So... It was supposed to be my day off work, but I had already planned. I had already decided, I don't care. I'm going to do whatever needs to be done to fix this thing today. Whatever that is. And Window World of the Triad, the guy was supposed to come by again, and he did. But he wasn't going to be here till noon, and I thought, well, shoot, that cuts my day exactly in half. If he's going to be here at 12. And um, so I thought, well, I'll just work. You know, I'll get up and do some work, and I did some other work too. And we we did fix the thing, but I ended up having to file a petition. Oh, and the filing fee for that was four hundred and twenty dollars, and it's just oh, the firm has to eat that expense. We can't charge the client because it was my mistake. I I feel I feel awful. I just feel like crap. Nobody has made me feel like crap. I've done this to myself. I've I've been beating up on myself all day about it. But I try to learn a lesson from stuff like this. You know, if I make a mistake, I try to learn from it. I want to have a zen pose like Evie has got right now. See? I need to be, I need to be zen like Evie. See, I need, I need to adopt that attitude right there. I need to just, you know, let it flow. Let things... Let things be and just wipe your brain of all thoughts. I don't think there's a whole lot going on in that brain, but I love that little cat. Evie, you want a treat? You want a snack? <laughs> I'm sorry, that was mean. I'll give, I'll give you one later. Yeah, that was dirty. I shouldn't have done that. I'll get her one later. I will. I'll get you one later. <laughs> um, you know, I, I try to learn from it. And the thing that I've learned from this is don't, don't get lazy. Don't get comfortable. Always double check the work you're doing. Even if, even if you think you know 
I know how this goes. I know how it is. <clears throat> you know, there, this may this may not be like all the others. It may be something different. You might you might be screwing up. I, when I go, I went to an aerobics class tonight. I loop my hair like this in a in a ponytail because I cannot stand my hair on my neck. And see, I put these little clips to keep the little wispies from getting in my face. When I work out, I, I absolutely cannot stand for my hair to get in my face, and I don't want it on my neck. I don't want it touching me. Like, it's like wearing a scarf. I don't, when I'm hot and sweaty, I don't want this on, on me at all. There's this one lady that goes to some of the classes I go to, and she has this long hair, like really long. And she doesn't even put it in a ponytail, and it's just flapping around. She's like a banshee, man. Her, I, I couldn't stand it. There's no way. She's got hair down to her butt. I don't know how she stands having her hair down. I, I no way in hell could I work out like that. I just, I can't do it. So, I'm going to go get a shower. And, but I, I tell you, I, I did want to say this, though. I'm in a better frame of mind now than I've been all day. And I, that's one thing that helps me. If I'm, if I'm kind of down, if I'm feeling kind of just blue down in the dumps for any reason, and I still am, kind of, I'm still there, but I find that physical exercise, just getting up and moving around, helps a lot for me. I mean, you know, it's not medical advice or anything like that, but just for me, it really helps me. It helps, helps me feel better. It really improves my mood. So that's why I went to this class tonight. I thought, you know what I need? I need an hour of just some good cardiovascular exercise. Get my heart pumping, get my blood moving, and um, I'll probably feel better. I was kind of on autopilot for most of the class. Like, my heart wasn't in it. I was just kind of going through the motions, but it still got my heart rate up, got my blood moving, got me moving, and in it, I do feel better. I'm in a, I'm in a better mood now than I was before, so. Yeah, um, I'm kind of thinking about going somewhere to make a video. No, I, I can't, well, I probably can't tomorrow because I, I got to work for real in the morning. I wasn't supposed to have to work today, but I did. I got to work in the morning, but maybe Thursday, maybe Thursday we'll go somewhere. I do. I feel like going somewhere and making a video. Like, we haven't looked at Valentine's Day stuff. Not really. I mean, I think there was one video where we looked at, at a little bit of it right after Christmas, but um, we got to do that. We got to go look at Valentine's Day stuff. And tonight, oh, let me show you what we're doing tonight. Check this out. It's, um, I found this, I found this kit at Walmart and it's the coolest thing. I've never seen anything like this. It's individually wrapped little sugar cookies for Valentine's Day. And in this bucket are, these are like food grade markers. And you can color the cookies and then eat them like they're, they're food grade. It's not like regular markers. So I thought we could color some cookies and I think we're gonna do that tonight. See, they have them on here coloring the thing. And there are eight cookies in here and I've already looked at them because I wanted to see if they were all different or not. I think five of them are different and three of them are duplicates. Um, so anyway, I thought it would be fun to color some of these in a video and I think we're gonna do that tonight. Originally, I was gonna do a harvest video earlier today. But I just my heart wasn't in it. Like I didn't want to. I didn't want to get ready for it. I didn't. I just thought I don't. I don't even want to set up to do it. I don't even want to make my little sheet of paper with a marker with you know with anything on it. Like I just my heart's not in it. So I don't know. Maybe maybe tomorrow I'll feel better for it. But over the weekend, I did clean a lot of stuff off of my dresser. I went through a lot of my YouTube stuff and I, I made some room in my totes for a lot of this stuff I had up here. So I'm really proud of that. So that looks better. That makes me feel better. And I, of course, I, I still have my sign up here that I, I keep this. This has been on my dresser for, our, for at least a couple of years now. <laughs> I left that up there. And uh, but yeah, I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna color sugar cookies tonight. So that'll be fun. I'm kneeling down. When I did the, the makeup rummaging video last night, I was kneeling on that stool over there. I had to kneel on it for the entire thing for like 33 minutes. I was kneeling on it. 
Ooh. And my back was killing me by the time I got done because I was crouched over slightly. And it didn't really bother me at first, but I was feeling every bit of my 48 years after about 25 minutes of crouching slightly and kneeling on that thing. My knees were killing me, my back was killing me. I had to do some stretching after that just to get myself back <laughs> shaped properly. Um, yeah, but uh, anyway, if you feel down, and again, I'm not saying this is a treatment for clinical depression or anything, but I do find that when I'm not feeling great about things, if I just get up and move, even if I just take a walk around the block, it makes me feel better to get out and get some fresh air, move around a little bit. It really does make me feel better. So it might be something that's worth a try. I mean, it won't cost you anything but a little bit of time and a little bit of effort, and it might make you feel a little bit better. That's another reason why I like to stay active. It, you know, it really does help me feel better, and I sleep better. I have more energy. It really has made a difference in the way I feel. I've really tried over the last year and a half to get in better shape and take better care of myself. Um, so I, I think it's helped me a lot. So, and I'm trying to learn from my mistake. And what I've learned from my mistake is you, you don't want to get too complacent. You don't want to get too lazy with your work. Always take the time to double check what you're doing. You know, make sure everything is correct. I have gotten kind of lazy about that with some of the things I do, especially if it's routine stuff that is usually the same. I get lazy. I get lazy. So I gotta do better about it. So anyway, yeah, tonight I think we'll color some sugar cookies. Tomorrow I don't know what we're doing. I really, I really want to go somewhere. I think if I could just go somewhere different, go somewhere we haven't been in a little bit, I think a, a change of scenery would make me feel better and do me some good. So, yeah, I want to get out and get some sunshine or something. If, I think if I could just get some sunshine, it would help my mood too. That really helps. If I can get a little bit of sunshine, I feel better. I've been stuck indoors too much lately. So, yeah, sugar cookies. I don't know what they taste like. They're all individually wrapped. They may taste like cardboard. Some of those cookies like that are not very good. But uh, do that. And um, I do want to do a harvest video. I kind of I kind of got an idea of something I wanted her to do. Um, I want to do a charity video, but honestly, I can't think of anything for charity to do. You know, a lot of these characters, all of them really, started out being something where I was just going to make one video, maybe two. I mean, they're very shallow characters. There's not really a lot to them. There's not a whole lot for them to do. I mean, there's, they don't have much substance to them. Lynette, Charity, Harvest, I mean, they're kind of one-dimensional characters, and there's really only so far you could take them, and I've kind of run out of ideas for them. Carl is a lot of fun because, for some reason, I, I can just imagine Carl in a lot more situations. I don't. I, it's like I can relate to him for some reason. I don't know. Um... But, you know, like Charity, I've done a bunch of videos with her. I, I was only going to do like one or two tops. And people liked her. And I, so I kept doing stuff, but I've kind of run out of ideas for her. So if you have any ideas for Charity, let me know. Maybe I can work it into something. Because I do kind of want to do something with her, but I don't really have... Like nothing is coming to my mind. I can't really, I can't really think of what I would want her to do. But if you have any ideas, that would be cool. So I'm gonna go get a shower. I'm gonna wash my hair again. I, I put this leave-in conditioner in it yesterday and it, I don't like the way it made my hair feel. It was a new kind I had. I'm not thrilled with it. I'm gonna wash it out and redo it. So uh, I'm gonna get my shower and get ready to color cookies at some point. And uh, I hope you have a good day. Was it Tuesday? It's Tuesday. I hope your week's going well so far my day mine we got started out rough but uh my god i don't know maybe it'll, it'll get better it'll get better it'll get better i have i have faith in the week that it will get better so thank you so much for being here and i hope i can take you out somewhere interesting pretty soon and we can look at look at something somewhere <laughs> thank you so much for being here i hope you have a great day and I will see you again soon.